Hello, college basketball fans. Did you miss me? Did you miss this week? We got a great, great week of college basketball starting from Wednesday all the way to today. And, well, we got we to gotta go backwards a little bit. I think we'll go backwards a little bit today. And we're going to start off with Virginia Tech. Not Virginia. Don't worry, but Virginia will play this team later. And the number three team in the nation, the Villanova Wildcats. Now, of course, Villanova had this game won, but uh, they blew a 12-point lead and went to overtime with Virginia Tech and lost. Hilarious. Hilarious stuff right there. You know... And, and, and you know where they were playing? You know, Bubble Bill. Yeah, baby, Bubble Bill. That's, that's right. Bubble Bill is a thing. It is happening. There have been games canceled left and right. There have been games getting together left and right. But, hey, we have a bubble for a lot of teams right now. And, um, yeah. Speaking of teams that had games canceled left and right, how about the Baylor Bears? Um... You know, it was against Louisiana, um, but not, not too shabby. He scored 112 points. You know, you won your first game of the season. Duke also won their first game of the season, but it was against the black school. And those wins don't really count. So, Wisconsin, your win doesn't really count. I, I, just, I just don't think the HBCUs are good basketball schools. We're not going to talk about that right now. We could, I could spend the whole video talking about why we should probably, you know, just, 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 just stop having, you know, up most team schedule black schools. It's just, it's just unfair at this point. Like Arkansas Pine Bluff only scored 58. Wisconsin blew them out. Coppin State was a little bit closer, but hey, you know, a win's a win for the Dukies. A win's a win. Michigan State had to fight a little bit though against Notre Dame, um, but there's that. They have a big matchup. On Tuesday, of course, you know, so do some other teams on as we go along, you know. You know, that was just on Saturday. Not a lot happened on Saturday aside from, you know, Virginia Tech beating Villanova. No, nothing really happened on that front. What about Luca Garza? Oh, my goodness gracious delight. Mans went off. You know, Mans went off, scored 41 points in his first game of the season. Just absolutely wonderful performance by the Hawkeyes. And again, you know, big matchups are coming for this Hawkeye squad in, you know, the next few weeks or so. And it's going to be interesting to see how they play, man. Because, I mean, there is, there is a lot here that you could say. I don't know if they played another game or not during this time frame. Um, no, they did not. They did not. They did not play another game during this time frame. Oh, yeah, they did. They played against NC Central. Yeah, so they played two games. Luca Garza and company looked pretty damn good. Houston also looked pretty good. Um, and, I mean, come on. Come on. Illinois. Illinois was beating the brakes off of teams left and right. Except for Ohio, they had a little bit of trouble with Ohio, but, you know, North Carolina A&T, Chicago State, who also should be in Division One at all. In fact, they should drop their basketball program. I mean, I don't know how they're still in D1 at this point. Should drop their basketball program. But, yeah, Illinois looked great. Ohio State got a win. Virginia, we'll talk about Virginia, you know, right now because that offense needs some work, man. They need some work. Yeah, they scored 89 against Towson, but uh, they really could score against San Francisco out of the West Coast Conference. Hey, we'll talk about the West Coast Conference in a moment because there's, there's a team from the West Coast Conference that everybody needs to know, but we know who they are. But anyway, Virginia loses to San Francisco. Big time L. Big time. You can't do that if you want to be considered one of the best teams to catch you. You can't do that. Illinois is looking great. It looks like they'll move up a little bit along with Iowa. They'll move up a little bit. Who else lost? 
because a lot there were a lot of victories, you know, in the, these games. You know, Kentucky won a game, a couple of games. You know, Texas Tech won a couple of games. Michigan State, like I already said, won a couple of games. You know, my Longhorns won a game against um, Rio Grande Valley. First big play of the season, and already we're doing good things. That's good stuff right there. And the bubble, yeah, Villanova's having trouble, you know. I mean, to go back to Villanova for a moment. Villanova was having trouble with Boston College, who was picked to be last in the ACC. You can't have trouble. You, you do this. This is going to happen eventually. And, and I mean, Villanova got they got shot. They got surprised. You know, and, and I mean, there's just nothing you can do about it. Another team who got shocked and surprised were the UCLA Bruins. Hey, hey, hey. You can't, you can't really get beat up like that. They got beat up by San Diego State. You know it. You know they couldn't even crack sixty points against San Diego State. San Diego State may look pretty interesting that line. We'll we'll find out. You know how good they look. But oh boy, let's talk about the number one team in the country. Oh boy, it's about that time of year again where we talk. You know. You know, who's who's the number one team? And it's the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Absolutely great performance in the Fort Myers tip-off. They easily beat Auburn, and they easily beat Kansas. I mean, th th there's just so much that, that, that you know, Jalen Suggs, Drew Timmy, Kalispy, you know, just, and I mean, the Zags had a guy test positive for Corona. And, I mean, they were still, you know, like 10 guys deep on that bench and whatnot. Gonzaga, had, you know, I mean, the schedule's not as loaded as it has been, you know, because of Corona. It would have been loaded this year. I guarantee you, if we were playing a normal year, it would have been loaded. You know, Washington would have been played, you know. There was supposed to be a game with Tennessee. You know, there was just there should be a game with Baylor, but we don't know that yet. We'll find out. You know, later as I preview um, the second week of the college basketball season in a few days or so. But Gonzaga looked like the number one team in the country. They they played with Kansas the entire first half. They had they were dropping threes. They were getting inside. They were playing good defense. It didn't help that Kansas, you know, was looking kind of young. They looked kind of young out there. They, Kansas did get a win, though, against St. Joe's, I think, who was also in this, um, you know, in this four-team, you know, participation thing. But, um, yeah, Kansas, Kansas may have a little bit of trouble this year, and, you know, I mean, they, they were picked to win the Big 12 this year. They were they were picked, you know, what, second or something like that? They might go to Baylor this year. I don't know. Scott Drew and them boys out there have a lot you know, to say about, you know, Kansas getting another Big Ten, a Big 12 title. I almost said Big Ten. But, yeah. And that was on Thursday. And Friday, you know, again, just absolutely beat up on Auburn wasn't really close at all and uh, you know the san francisco you know upset of virginia was also crazy on fr on friday and today we you know we got another one we got another one there was only about four games involving ranked teams today but hey we 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 got something and as far as next week goes we're hopefully keeping the day open keep your saturday open because it's going to be number one versus number two, hopefully on Saturday. You know, there's also um, some right matchups tomorrow, like Texas Tech taking on Houston. Um, and, um, you know, the Champions Classic. But we'll talk about those games Monday. I believe I'll have some time on Monday to talk about these games because it's going to be one hell of a, going to be one hell of a week. For college basketball, you know, you got the Champions Classic on Tuesday. It's going to be fun. There should be some ranked matchups in here. You know, like Illinois taking on Baylor should be fun also. But I'm highlighting number one, number two. And 
Champions Classic as well. Because I mean, there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot that goes on this week, and I cannot wait. I'm excited for Saturday. It should be the best, one of the best Saturdays of college basketball. You know, for you know, because I mean, there's only four games scheduled for Saturday now. Everything could change, of course, like it has in college football. But changes have been even more fluid, I think, in college basketball and college football. But yeah, it is going to be one fun week for us college basketball fans. And I cannot wait to feast on these games. And I'll talk about you know some more basketball in a few days, whenever the NBA schedule gets released as well, so y'all can look forward to that. Well, the plan this week is going to be a little bit different. You know, the college football playoff rankings have been going out and stuff like that, so that's thrown a wrench into some things. But, you know, things are going to be fine here, and things are going to change. They're always going to change. They change every day here, you know, in this world. And hopefully we get the matches we want this week, you know, that we've been clamoring for. You know, Corona, you know, we need a reprieve from her wrath, her fury, and hopefully we get four ranked matchups this week, along with, you know, another ranked matchup as well, but I don't really care for Texas Tech Houston right now. Talk about these other four matchups. It's going to be one hell of a week. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it, boys and girls. Let's, let's do it. And I'll see you in the next video soon, everybody.